This is Mark. And this is Sarah. Uh, we're still shipping. We have sent out about 150 kits at this point uh, in batches of uh, anywhere from 25 to 50, depending on what we've got ready. We're still uh, testing boards and packaging certain parts as they come off the 3D printer. So we're still actively doing production, but we're getting there. As of right now, we have about 25 international kits to ship out and 35 regular kits. And those are, most of them are the higher tiers because we're still getting the posters and art prints made at this point. And as well as getting a few extra shirt sizes. Yeah, so we, we ran out of like double X. Yes. Yeah, we learned a lot about the U.S. Postal Service and shipping options and costs and logistics and things. So, so yeah. um, there's about 20 different smaller windows that expanded out from the major header that was shipping. And a lot of that has been um, how to package the kit properly so that it gets to its destination safely. Um, picking out the correct boxes to put the kits in um, has been another thing because it's different for domestic and international and there's ways to get, I don't know, cheaper, cheaper okay. shipping if yeah. you go with the USPS stock little box that they have. But if you do that for international, they end up gouging you because um, their set flat rate is a bit higher. It's really high. The rate for that, the flat, flat rate was $70, and we realized yeah. kind of after we had already put a bunch of stuff in these boxes that we had ordered, that if we had used our own generic packages from whatever, it would have been $20 less per package. Per box. So, so it's $50 like in most international, mm -hmm. which is obnoxious to ship a package out of the U.S., but... That's just how it is. That's still $20 cheaper than what the, the flat, flat rate, rate box so. would be. Which is, yeah. So we ordered other boxes, um, took everything out of the flat rate boxes, and uh, we're going to repackage all of those things and then ship them out shortly. Yeah. So the next boxes to go out are going to be the international badge. Um, but that's just part of the learning, I guess. Chicken? What? <laughs> What's behind me? Yeah. The room? There's a big pile of boxes. <laughs> Those are the Priority Mail Express boxes that cost a billion dollars to ship. Uh, yeah. And then, yeah, other than that, uh, yeah, we've just been stacking them up by the door and pushing them out as they're ready. Yeah. And absolutely terrifying the USPS workers when they come here. Yeah, once everybody else gets their kit, um, we encourage you to go on the forum and take pictures of your robot completed and... I don't know, name it, name your child, post a yeah. picture of it, um, do something cool with it. Like one of the neat examples that one of our um, friends did with their Delta robot is they, they made a Halloween costume for it, um, which is kind of neat. He, he took a um, little plastic skull head and he took the LED that came with the Delta and like hooked it up to an LED inside the skull and then attached the skull to the end effector and then draped like a tattered cloth thing over the rest of the robot and made this little specter thing. Yeah. And it looked, it looked, when it moved, it looked like there was a monkey underneath the sheet, kind of like doing one of these yeah. like head bob things. It, well, it was terrifying. And it was terrifying. <laughs> Because then the head would kind of like come loose and then like kind of move around <laughs> like that. <laughs> and it was, but it was awesome, right? Yeah. So there's there's cool stuff that you can do with a Delta robot if you get creative and let let Nate inspire you because that was yeah awesome. That was one of the best things I've ever seen on a Delta on a Delta anywhere. Yes. So yeah, stuff. make cool things. Tell us about it. Um, name your baby and post it on our forum. Like, we're going to try and get it a little bit more active so that there's yeah. stuff around the project post-Kickstarter. And then we'll move on to what's next. Yes. So thank you for being patient. Um, we're thank almost you. there. Almost to the home stretch. Yay. Yeah.